Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to overlay historic maps onto a current map in felt.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So, here I am on the Internet Archive's David Rumsey map collection. There's more than 100,000 maps that you can download and use for non-commercial purposes, like this map of the United States of America, 1880. Great map, and I've already downloaded a copy of it to use in this case. And I want to overlay this map on a current map of the United States. I'm going to do that in felt.com, which is a great collaborative mapping tool. And let's go ahead and create a new map. And one of the things that you need to know when using felt.com for this purpose is that you want to zoom out to the size of the map to match up to the map that you're going to overlay. So in this case here, I want to make sure that I'm looking at the United States as a whole and I want to have it centered on my screen when I go to add my overlay. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more. There we go. And now I'm going to click on this Upload Anything button. And from there, I can upload the map. And I can now adjust it to match the size of the United States on felt.com. Now, you'll notice that when I do that, that blocks out the current map, the felt.com map of the United States. So one of the things that I can do here is that I can adjust the transparency of that overlay so that I can make a little comparison in that manner. Now, the other option, the other thing that I might want to do is crop the historical map image before I overlay it. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to upload that image into Canva and I'm just going to upload the file, just a standard image file, a JPEG. I'm going to use it in a new design. I'm going to select custom size and so it's going to be the this default 1536 by 1008 pixels. I'm going to create a new design and we'll see there's the image. I'm now going to edit the photo using the background remover and now I'm going to go in and further edit the photograph by cropping out the parts that I don't need. So I don't need any of that border So I'm going to crop that element. I'm going to crop it over here as well. I'm going to crop those corners out of it. There we go. And now that's going to be my new cropped image of the map. And I'm going to expand it a little bit more here. Let's expand it just a tiny bit more to make it fit all the way through. There we go. And now let's download this. I'm going to call it my 1880 map. Let's go ahead and download that. And you can see I can do it as a PNG, a JPEG. I can even do it as an SVG file. But to keep this simple, let's do it as a PNG file. And you can do transparent background. And we're going to download that image and now I have this new 1880 map. Let's go back here in felt.com and I'm going to do the new 1880 map that I've just downloaded. And now I'm going to again adjust the map, position it about where I think it needs to go and then check it with the transparency and there it is now I have my overlay on felt.com now I could further 
edit this, I could use something like the magic eraser in Canva and I can brush over the image and I could further crop this image so that it would even more accurately be overlaid on felt.com and completely remove everything that's not the map itself. So in other words, all the border things on the pages I'm going to eliminate by using Magic Eraser or pretty darn close to eliminate everything that's not the map itself that I need to overlay. You can see I'm just going to go right around. It doesn't have to be exact. And then the rest of this, I'll increase my brush size to go a little bit faster. And you can see here, now I'm moving faster with that bigger brush size to erase everything that I don't need. And I'll just fill everything in that's in purple. Everything that's in purple is going to be removed from the final image that I can then download and use in felt.com. So let's just finish that up real quick. There it is. And you can see I accidentally took off a little bit of main, but for our purpose right now, that's okay. There we go. And so now I have just that bit of it left. I like it. And I'm going to save that new image. And I'll download that one as a PNG. And then I, I can go back into felt.com and try it one more time to make my overlay even more accurate if I want to, there it is. And we can see there's more of my overlay. And again, can adjust the transparency as I see fit. So that's one way that you can overlay a historic map on a current map by using felt.com. As always, for more things like this, please visit practicaledtech.com, freetechforteachers.com, or subscribe to my YouTube channel.